Hey everybody, good morning and good day to you. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus, giving you an update on the Hurricane Epsilon. Uh, and also, if you can go to my buddy uh, Roy's channel, Roy uh, Ponder, I don't know if y'all go to him or not, he's a good guy. He's uh, He just released his uh, snowfall out outlook for the snowfall we're about to get from this cold air. So if you're curious about that, you should definitely go check that out. Now you can show that on GFS. Yes, it is. GFS on the 186 hour. Uh, that it does low pressure starts forming right here by the uh, right above Brazil Western Caribbean Islands. Now the reason why you you get this formation, I know there's been a lot of problems. A lot of people have been wondering, hey, this is not even showing there's going to be anything. Well, I'm not talking about Invest 93L. Okay, Invest 93L is going to go on a north northeast track and burn out. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the MJO. The MJO brings over. The MJO, it is it is a Madden-Julian oscillation, okay? The MJO is an eastward-moving pulse of cloud and rainfall, and it's constantly moving. It travels around the planet, uh, close close to the equator, and it returns to its initial point every 30 to 60 days. Now, that, that's on average. Now, this is just a, a massive, uh, not a storm, but it's rainfall and clouds that just massively moves around the planet constantly 30 to 60 days it makes a rotation now we're getting into the the part where it, it, it affects us most that's why if you see right here on rain accumulation gfs is pick up heavy rainfall in the next 10 days in this area okay now the mjo contributes to the speed of development and intensity of el nino and la nina episodes so it don't matter what season it is and i believe australia just said that they're seeing that there's still 60 percent still la nina so it I mean, it don't even matter anyway it contributes to both now of course we're in the north northern hemisphere okay and on the seasons for the northern northern hemispheres for the mjo for us is late fall all of winter and early spring and that's when we would have the greatest activity of the clouds and the rainfall contributing uh, to a low pressure system just so you know uh, that's why it's showing heavy rainfall that's why people are predicting well, some of uh, formations here. Okay, this is this is not 93L. This is going to form up from the MJO of rainfall and clouds movement that comes in, and all you need is that low pressure spin that sets everything off. Now, if I move every six hours, you'll see that the storms start to form around this formation. Okay, and right now we are on the 21st. This is Wednesday. The date is right here. If you want to look at the date, if you can't see it, I'll keep calling it out because I know a lot of you are using your phones. We all do these days. Now, storms start to reach out towards Jamaica as early as the 22nd on Thursday. Okay, and I'm going to show you rainfall. I'm going to show you winds and full track. Now, as we get closer, you'll see that this is with the winds right here. It starts heading towards Jamaica. Uh... The cold front comes down and kind of whops it as its movement movement up to the north northeast and it whops it, boom. I mean it's north northwest and it whops it to the northeast. But it starts heading towards Jamaica with the winds and the storm, and it gets down to 966. And this is on the 23rd on Friday. And then it starts going over Jamaica at 959. And I'm not trying to scare you over there, Jamaica. This is. Of course, uh, one of the updated probabilities that we are getting uh, from this storm and from the data. Either way, it is going to form up in this section. And there's three prob probabilities. It's either going to go towards Jamaica to the islands. It's either going to go towards the Gulf and then get pushed by the, the, the whamming of the cold front towards the uh, tip of Florida and go out. Or it could get sucked into the Pacific, which is also a, a variable. Uh, now, for it to hit Florida, it would the uh, cold front would have to slow down. Okay, the, the more the cold front, the less probability for the for the, uh, Florida landfall. Now, as you keep going, you'll see that it goes over Cuba, and it heads towards in between the Bahamas uh, and Tur Turks and Caicos over here. So, y'all be aware, it is going to go directly between y'all. That's what it looks like so far, as as of the update today. So directly over Cuba, rather quick. It took uh, it took almost two days to go over Jamaica, and it goes in between. Gets stronger as it goes, and then starts riding up the east coast of 
uh, US. And I'll show you that in a second as well. Now here's the rainfall. I backed it up to the 234 hour to where the storms start to affect uh, Jamaica and any other nearby uh, hitting. And you can see it starts on the eastern side of Jamaica. And then it covers straight over it. And it does take two days, if this is correct. Just saying. Then it goes over uh, one day. It goes over Cuba. Then it goes in between Bahamas uh, and Turks and Caicos Islands. And then heads up the east coast. Now, if you look for the the winds, I'm trying. I was trying to show you what the closest and the, the probability of winds would be for southern uh, Florida. And as this system moves up, it it looks like the knots are maybe in the, in the high 20s. That's about it. You'll get some onshore uh, flooding going on just a little bit. Probably be some warnings for Marines and everything as it goes because the winds do pick up as you get just a little bit further uh, offshore. But I'm just showing high 20s. I mean, wor worst case scenario, maybe a tro tr tropical, uh, tropical depression winds will be a best bet. But it is showing all up the whole coast uh, as that tropical depression. And it looks like it's going to barely skim by and miss everything. And keep moving on up and those will be tropical depression to possible tropical storm winds probably tropical depression to be honest with you and here's a shot right here so you can see it and it gets real close to north carolina it gives it some pretty good winds but they're pretty offshore but tropical depression tropical storm worst case scenario and then it moves up to northeast and moves out and i'm not showing any winds uh, or impacts on any of y'all up there so far uh, as far as the rainfall goes, it looks like you are going to get some rainfall for Florida. You are going to feel some of this because it is going to be whipping around. And you are going to get rain as it passes by. But it's not going to be nothing you can't handle. It's not going to be a big, huge storm. It's just going to whip by. Uh, North Carolina, you also in Virginia, you all be getting some rainfall out of this if this shows true. And as it goes in the northeast, maybe Boston, you'll get some rainfall out of this as well. Now, if you go to Tropical Tidbits, I know a lot of people have been saying, hey, I can't find it. <clears throat> it's not showing that it's there. And, th and thank you for the suggestions on the, the tea, by the way. God bless you. I, I did take your advice, and I appreciate it. Uh, you have GFS, and then you have GFS Para. And if you can't find it on GFS, you go to GFS Para. Right now, they're loading up their model. But this is it right down here. And you can see the forecast date right here. So, uh, Sunday, October 25th. And as it goes over Cuba, can't really see uh, Jamaica real good off this, this uh, view. And then it goes in between Bahamas and Turks and Caicos. And then it rides up and goes out. And then, of course, you got all this snowfall that y'all about to get. And I'm sure some of you could be excited about that, but I'm not showing too many people getting that stuff. All right. Well, let me show you what it looks like it, with movement so you can see exactly what it is that we're talking about. Uh, I got it on the 10 meter winds real quick. I'll run that by fast and put on the wind gust to see if there's any uh, wind gust happening with this for the, the East Coast. Now, as you can see, it goes right over Jamaica. And this at that point moment jamaica is still a hurricane the whole time it goes over you i don't see any anything stronger than a cat one but it is it is a hurricane as it goes over you uh cuba also it's a, it's a hurricane the whole time over you there's one moment of weakness right there where it's in the 60s so that's good hopefully it goes down even worse i mean even better <laughs> wrong wording but right in between it, it powers back up to a hurricane again uh Right in between Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. Uh, 92 is what I show. And that's uh, Cat 2 would be a 95. So that's still a Cat 1 hurricane as it moves on up. And you'll watch it as it goes through the northeast. And the pink down here, you see Florida. This is just 20s. Okay, you're just going to get 20s off the winds off that. You'll see it moves right up to the northeast, and it moves away after that. It never hits landfall. And knowing that how models run, I'm sure y'all would agree, that if this goes a little bit further, was that hurricane still right there? If this goes a little bit further, this actually could be 
even more of a fish storm because it could turn even sooner. That's how a lot of them things uh, work. 78, 79. A little more power. But it moves up, goes to the northeast, and it leaves. But it is a big system. It has a lot of strength to it, but it, it looks like it's going to be gone. Don't look like any impacts uh, whatsoever from this. Except for the ones I, that I stated already, of course. Let me put this a little bit faster so you can see this movement and see it in real time movement. Well, not real time, but fast motion. That's where, how I like to watch them. You can really see what goes on. But don't worry about this being set in stone, okay, Jamaica, please? Because it's either this direction or it's going to go towards the Gulf. Or it could just curve and get sucked out into the Pacific. It is a possibility. Okay. I'd like to say a prayer for everybody involved. Or that may be involved in this storm. I pray God takes it and puts it curved real quickly out into the Atlantic. If it can, go right in between Dominican Republic and Cuba. And just skirt on in and get on out of there. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that would be bad for Turks and Caicos. I think it's a possibility. But you see 93L, it's going to move up. Uh, matter of fact, I think I have it. Uh, they're updating. I don't have it on. I was going to show you the track. It might even be on there. No, it's not on there. Anyway, that would be another one. I'm not, 93L isn't going to do anything, guys. Isaiah 40. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her, that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she hath received of the Lord's hand double of all, all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, pre Prepare ye the, the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. The voice said, Cry, and he said, What shall I cry? All flesh, all flesh is grass, and all the goodly, goodliness thereof is, in, uh, is as of the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. O Zion, that bring us good, good tidings, get thee up into the height, my high mountain, O Jerusalem, that bring us good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God will come with a strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and shall gently lead those that are with young. Who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and, and meted out heaven with a span, and comprehend the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance. Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor, hath taught him? With whom took he counsel, and whom instructed him, and taught him in, a, in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and shewed to him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and recount it as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh, uh, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are nothing, or as nothing. And they are accounted to him less than nothing and vanity. To whom then will ye liken God? Or what likeness will ye compare unto him? 
The workman melteth a graven image, and the goldsmith spreadeth, spreadeth it over with gold, and casteth silver chains. He that is so improvised that he hath no, no oblation chooseth a tree that will not rot. He, he seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are, are as grasshoppers, and stretch out the heavens as a curtain, and spread them out as a, t a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing, he maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yea, they shall not be, be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither. And the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me? Or shall I be equal? Saith the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high. And behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their hosts by numbers. He calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, not one faileth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O, o Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? That thou everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, faintest not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young and the young men shall utterly fall. But they, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up. With wings as eagle as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Amen. So I hope everybody's safe through this. I can't wait for the next update for this thing to go away because I'm tired of seeing this season already, guys. I'm sure y'all are all well. Please go check out my friend uh, Roy, man, POW uh, Weather Channel. He's a very good guy. He's, he knows his stuff. I haven't seen nobody else been like him the whole time. So please go show support to Roy. I, I'd appreciate it uh, if you don't do it already to go do it. He's, he's a great guy. God bless everybody. Hope you all have a great day today. All glory does go to God. Amen. <laughs>